The most dominant feature of Africa is the Sahara Desert. It is a place where the sun rules supreme. At times, temperatures reach over 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 66 degrees Celsius. The Sahara is the largest desert in the world, larger than most countries. East to west, it is more than 2,500 miles or 4,000 kilometers across. From north to south, it is approximately 900 miles or 1,500 kilometers long. But the southern edge of the Sahara itself is always shifting due to natural variations in climate, particularly the amount of rainfall in a year, so no one knows exactly how big it is. Most of the Sahara consists of gravel plains and low-lying mountain ranges, but it is best known for the vast stretches of sand that take up only 10% of its area. Often the sand wells up into spectacular dunes that are like waves on the ocean. Ever shifting, growing, and receding, dunes can reach up to 200 feet or 61 meters in height and can stretch for hundreds of miles. The weather across the desert is hot and dry, frequently subject to violent sandstorms. Throughout the Sahara, there are oases, places where precious water is found in the form of springs and wells. As we have mentioned, far to the south is the Kalahari Desert. The Sahara and the Kalahari are both equidistant from the equator. Later, we shall see how Africa's climates are a mirror image of themselves. Over 50 million years ago, Africa was joined to the continent of South America. But by a process known as continental drift, the two countries were separated by the Earth's internal tectonic forces. Africa remains in relative isolation from other continental and oceanic plates. As a result, Africa has become an old and stable continental platform that is not subject to many of the forces that produce earthquakes and volcanoes. Therefore, there is little uplifting to generate spectacular mountain ranges and peaks. In fact, most of Africa is a great rolling plateau, the exception being the highlands of East Africa. It is where the highest peaks in Africa, Mount Kenya, and Mount Kilimanjaro rise up. Not far from these mountain peaks is a geographical feature where tectonic forces are pulling the continent into two parts. It is known as the Great Rift Valley and it is over 6,000 miles or 9,700 kilometers long, but in East Africa, its southern terminus, it is most pronounced. The Great Rift Valley contains some of Africa's largest lakes, such as Victoria, Tanganyika, and Nyasa. The Rift Valley lakes are source waters for a number of Africa's great rivers, including the world's longest river, the Nile. The Nile River, which runs from south to north, is 4,200 miles or 7,000 kilometers long. Unlike most of the world's major rivers, the Nile flows through desert land. The Nile is actually sourced by two rivers, the White Nile and the Blue Nile, which eventually join up and flow into the Mediterranean Sea. The Nile River system flows through nine countries and is literally the lifeblood of tens of millions of people. In a desert where water is a precious commodity, the Nile Valley has sustained a rich agricultural base that has allowed a series of civilizations to flourish for over 6,000 years. The rich delta where the Nile flows into the Mediterranean is the cradle to Western civilization. What are Africa's other major rivers? They are the Congo and Zambezi, which are also sourced in the Rift Valley, and West Africa's Niger River. <laughs> 